Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into my unbagging of Mario Kart Wii minifigures from Kinex. We're going to be unbagging four different sets here uh, from what I consider Series 2, even though it's not mentioned at all in, on the packaging, uh, but they are different from the previous release. Now in the background we have four uh, characters here of Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, and Bowser. And uh, these figures I got from the previous release, uh, and uh, the uh, previous release was a uh, set release. Uh, you knew what figures you were getting based on the packaging. And uh, what I consider Series 2 here is because uh, Kinex seems to have gone to a blind bag uh, concept of uh, releasing the figures. So you don't know what you're getting with, with this set of uh, bags. And uh, you'll also notice that the uh, four characters from the previous release are also included in, in this series. So uh, you can uh, potentially receive duplicates uh, if you collected the previous uh, four characters. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and unbag uh, each of these. And uh, if I do not have a, uh, a duplicate, I'll go ahead and put the figure together and uh, we'll take a look at the figure. Uh, and uh, before I do uh, unbag each of these, I'm going to also try to see how my tactile sensory uh, uh, is uh, rated. I'm going to actually try to guess uh, what figure is in the bag before opening it. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that my tactory sensory skills will be pretty poor. And I will probably uh, guess incorrectly, but uh, it'll be uh, pretty fun to give it a try. So we're going to go ahead and take a look uh, at uh, this bag here. And I'm going to go ahead and try to feel to see uh, what I can get. I'm hoping to get uh, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, and uh, Toad here. Uh, well, actually, I... Toad is actually pretty easy to, uh, to to feel through in the packaging, so I don't think I have a Toad in here. And I'll probably pick up a Toad later on. Uh, the only reason I say that is because uh, his uh, pretty bulbous helmet that he wears, it's pretty to, easy to figure out that a Toad is in a particular bag. And I don't think uh, Toad is in any of these three uh, or four bags. And I could be wrong, but uh, I don't think a Toad uh, will be amongst it. So I'm hoping uh, to get a Donkey Kong and a Diddy Kong at least. Uh, the only thing I'm guessing is that if what I may think is a Donkey Kong may be a Bowser or a Yoshi, uh, but we'll see. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, feel through this and uh, make a guess. I'm hoping this one is a Diddy Kong because the way it feels, it's, it feels kind of small, but it could be a Mar Mario or Luigi here. I don't know. We'll have to see and find out and open this one up and take a peek at uh, which one we received as part of Series 2. Now, I don't know if these codes mean anything. Uh, there may be a website to figure out if these codes actually mean a, a specific character or not, but I didn't go to that length to find out. Uh, I just went ahead and uh, felt through a couple of bags and... Uh, uh, just picked up uh, what I thought would be uh, a unique character. And uh, let's go ahead and find out what we have here in this first bag. And uh, take a look here. And cool, it is a Diddy Kong. I felt correctly on that one. So my tactory sensory skills are a little bit okay. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we got a Diddy Kong here. And uh, let's go ahead and. Uh, Put Diddy Kong together, and uh, I don't know if I'll need the instructions for this or not. Uh, it looks pretty basic. And here, go ahead and uh, stick the tail on first. There we go. Let's see. Oops, that doesn't want to stick in there. Maybe you have to push it in uh, there, there until it snaps. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put the torso, attach it to the lower uh, part of the figure, and finally uh, the head on 
here. There we go. Pretty cool. Now we have Diddy Kong right there. So you can get into focus. And uh, this is a pretty nice figure. Uh, it's painted uh, fairly well on here. And has a tampo uh, on the hat. Uh, it says uh, Nintendo there. Pretty cool. Eyes are painted nicely. And uh, I got a tampo uh, of some stars on his shirt, which is nice. Pretty cool. And uh, he has uh, the basic uh, articulation points uh, for these uh, Mario Kart Wii minifigures, in that the head can move uh, side to side there. And uh, the hat is not removable or is articulated. Uh, the arms can go uh, potentially all the way around, uh, but it does run into the head there. And the hands can go uh, all the way around at the wrist, which is nice. The, the upper torso uh, does uh, swivel at the waist uh, on there uh, quite nicely. And the tail uh, does uh, swivel as well at the back. So that's kind of cool for posability. And the legs uh, do swing up and uh, down and uh, back. So that's kind of cool. So we got a uh, unique character uh, on the first try. We didn't get a duplicate. So that's kind of cool. And that's uh, Diddy Kong there. Uh, very nice. Uh, I'll put him here next to Bowser there. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at our second bag here and try to feel. Now this one uh, is a little bit bigger so I'm hoping it's a Donkey Kong on here. Uh, one thing I was trying to feel through is uh, what feels right here is like toes. Uh, it's got one, uh, two, three, four, four toes I think. Uh, so I'm hoping it's a Donkey Kong. It looks like uh, Bowser has three toes on his feet there. So I'm going to hope it's a Donkey Kong figure. Uh, it feels what feels like toes right around here, and we'll find out uh, what we have. Let's go ahead and uh, bust this one open. Take a look. Let's see what we have. And uh, sure enough, we've got a Donkey Kong, and you can see the toes there uh, where I was feeling uh, earlier. So, uh, pretty cool, another unique figure. I'm, I guess my uh, tactory sensory skills are really uh, up to snuff. So, that's uh, pretty cool. And uh, there are those four toes that I was feeling uh, in the bag. Uh, so, that's kind of cool. And uh, Donkey Kong is relatively easy to put together. He's got three basic pieces, a uh, lower half, uh, top half, and the head. So we'll go ahead and uh, put that together and take a look at Donkey Kong. So, pretty cool. Stick his head there. And uh, we have Donkey Kong there. And uh, that's uh, pretty cool. Now, I did also feel this top part here, but I wasn't sure if that was uh, Yoshi's tail or not uh, in the packaging. Uh, but it feels, uh, felt a little similar there uh, with the top part of there. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, we have uh, Donkey Kong here. And it uh, looks uh, pretty nice. Pretty uh, plain in the back there. But the, the eyes on this one are painted uh, nicely. A uh, little bit of bleed here on this forehead area but uh, not that bad at all uh, especially when you look at it from a distance but uh, still a little bit of bleed there and you got a tampoed uh, tie there uh, with the DK uh, to represent Donkey Kong so that's kinda cool and he, he is a bigger figure uh, similar in size to Yoshi and Bowser a little bit smaller than Bowser though so but uh, now for his articulation uh, it's Again, uh, similar to the uh, other uh, figures, uh, but his head uh, doesn't really move, and that's because uh, uh, his jaw area runs into uh, his shoulder there. So uh, you really can't get any movement on the head. It's just very slight. Uh, the arms do go all the way around, and uh, the hands uh, do go uh, all the way around at the uh, wrist. And he does have... Uh, waist articulation that swivels and uh, has uh, 
leg articulation that goes uh, up, down, uh, back a little bit, and uh, that's it for our articulation. So pretty cool to get another unique figure uh, from the series. So uh, now uh, these two sets are, will probably be uh, a duplicates uh, because I was trying to to figure out uh, to get how to get a Donkey Kong. So. Uh, these are, I believe, uh, bigger figures as well, so they could be either Bowser, Yoshi, or Donkey Kong. And uh, we're going to go ahead and find out. Uh, let me see if I can't feel for the legs or the toes on here to count the toes. But it is a bigger figure, as you can see on there, for, due to the size of the pieces uh, when you put them up together. And uh, let's go ahead and figure out uh, what we have here by opening it up. Go ahead and rip it. Now, these bags have these little holes uh, punched through it to make it easier to open up the, the bags here. But <laughs> I was having a little bit of a harder time uh, opening it. So, there we go. And uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, looks like uh, we have a Yoshi figure. So, and uh, I'm trying to, uh, couldn't feel for his tail that time, but uh, here's the tail end part. And uh, we won't put him together since we already have uh, Yoshi back there. And for this one here, um, I was hoping to get another uh, Donkey Kong, but um, it was because of this one's another larger set here. You can see uh, the size of the bag there, uh, the figure in the bag. Uh, but I can't really feel for the toes. I don't know if that's the toes on here. Maybe this might be another Yoshi or uh, Bowser, uh, but we'll find out. Uh, and uh, let's take a peek what we got. And uh, what we have here... Oh, it's another Donkey Kong. So uh, that's uh, pretty cool. And uh, we won't put him together. Uh, we'll put him t together some uh, time later. But uh, that uh, I just wanted to go over was some uh, blind bag unbaggings of the Mario Kart Wii uh, minifigures, a uh, part of uh, Series 2. And we did get uh, two new uh, figures of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. And. Uh, that's uh, pretty cool. So two out of four uh, uh, bags is uh, not too bad. Uh, this is my uh, casual peek into that uh, unbagging of these blind bags. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.